This is a counter to a wrist grab. I'm gonna do an underhand wrist lock. So I have my hand here, you grab my wrist. I want to turn my hand palm up, reach underneath, my fingers grab behind his thumb here, and then my, my thumb goes between his two fingers, which I'll show you in a second. From here, I use this hand to reinforce it by going off the top, going top the, uh, the two fingers. I push his elbow into his body and I do a wrist lock. So I'm just turning this way here. So I'm here, and then I can do it with one hand, but if you're strong, I want to reinforce it with my other hand. So because I'm doing a wrist lock here, I'll put pressure on his last two knuckles by his ring finger and pinky here, and then I rotate the pipe, the lock. At the same time, I push his elbow into his body like this. I can also take him down to do that. I'm gonna pivot. So I step with my foot and pivot and take him down. And I can uh, control from here. So come closer so I can show the details. So he grabs my wrist. If it's a big guy, it can be hard just to turn my hand up. So I will uh, make him help me by faking out to the outside. When he resists, it makes it easy to turn my hand up. So my palm is up. My free hand reaches around. My finger is here. Grab around this immediate part at the bottom of his thumb here. And then my thumb is a little kind of pressure point here uh, in his hand, back of his hand here, between his pinky and his ring finger. Okay, so, so I push into that, okay? And then I can tell you it's painful just doing that. <laughs> so I'm here. Again, I can use one hand, but it's safer if I reinforce this with my other hand. So my other hand is gonna cover his bottom two knuckles here. And then again, to apply the lock, I'm gonna rotate this hand around this way and I also want to push his elbow into him to help get him off balance. So like this, okay? And then I can also take him down. If I want to take him down, this way. I want to um, pivot. So if I just do it here, um, I, can take, I can take him down, but it works better if I circle this way, because it kind of swings into the ground. So if I apply the pressure on the lock, okay? I'm gonna twist hard and kind of like have downward pressure. And I'm gonna uh, circle this way here. And he goes down, and he goes down, keep control of the wrist lock. So again, I press my thumb into that pressure point there. I like to put my foot in his armpit, and I can control from here. And that is a counter for a wrist grab. It is the underhand wrist lock.